Okay, uh, today is uh, November the 7th, and we had a batch of snow last night up to, uh, I think it was 18 centimeters in Goose Bay area. So I'm just out now checking a few Martin boxes. And looks like I got a nice Martin here. Oh, he's big. Nice big Martin. Oh yeah. So I'll get this one straightened away here now. And this is the first one for the day, so it's actually the first trap I held day too, so so it's pretty damn good. When I was coming in through there, I thought I saw what looks like an old Merton footing. And I got him right here at all. Ooh, nice big Merton. Yeah, get this one straight away. Just in checking a few traps. Oh boy, I had a batch of snow last night. Oh look, Martin. Sometimes even with GPS it takes a little while to find the trap. But I'm glad I did, because See that Merton there? Gotta get down around here now. Uh. Oh yeah, lovely Merton. Okay, uh, this is the part that just loves. You look in, and you can see that the trap has shrunk up, and you're not really sure what it is. So, now we gotta go in and find out. And but look at the feet hanging down as a Martin. Oh yeah, he's a nice big one too. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful. Hey man, look at the teeth on that too. They're fierce little predators. And anyway, I'll get this one straightened away here now. Whew. Nice, nice and dark Martin. Uh, too bad another one never come along though. That would've been sweet. It's still good. I'll get this one straightened away. Now move on to the next one, I guess. Okay, it's, uh, it's not frosty or nothing, but you can see there's a little bit of fur stuck on line there. So I'm just going to take the, the Merton and trap like that. You want to damage no skins. And I got a boxer anyway, so I usually I usually carry a trap with me, but, but I'm not walking back here to the truck and back in here again, so I'll just take the trap and I'll just leave it down there like this. So. You know, $100 pelts can become $50 pelts pretty fast, so you gotta look after them. Uh, it was another, another beautiful morning here in the big land. It's 7.30, the sun is coming up there, and uh, it's uh, November the 8th, just here checking a few traps. I uh, got two checked already and nothing, but uh, we'll see what the rest of the day brings, I guess. Okay, uh, yeah. I know the trap has shrunk up, but I just love this, man. Oh yeah, Mr. Merton. Well, that's the first one for the day. Pretty really across the head. I guess that was late suit pretty fast for him. So anyway, I'll get this straightened away here now. Okay, well, first Merton track goes on in through there, so I'm gonna put another box in right here now, so he might be gone too far. Put a good, good helping alert on, and we'll see what happens. Just killed a part reach on the picking around my box here now.
Merton comes along hunting around now and sees that. They're easy to pick just after you kill them. It's the easiest time to do it for sure. Oh, sweet. Oh, lovely Martin. Now, go over there, trap my bag. That's really good. You always want to carry an uh, extra trap with you for sure, especially when it's cold. You don't want to, you don't want to try to take the trap off and damage, damage any of the skins, so. Anyway, I'll get this one straight away and move on, I guess. See his nice big tail hung down there? This year's one, I think. Yeah, young one. Anyway, here's another one. That's good. Just straighten away again. Ah, yabba dabba do. Oh, it's a big old one. Oh, yeah. Still not real, real dark, but, but he's a beauty all the same. Yeah, Merton come over there really fresh foot and and he turned back. I'm gonna just spooked him back that time. And he's really fresh gone on in through right there, so he might come back out again. So I got this one fixed away again now. And I'm gonna go do it next time it comes back, we'll see what happens there. Okay. Looks like the trap has shrunk. I don't know, he's shrunk up because of a limb or what. But we're soon gonna find out. Here we go. Let me see here. I think there's a limb, is it? Mother Tucker. It was. Yeah, limb went down there. Well, shit happens. Fix the way in. I can see his tail hung down there, look. Ooh. Let's go around and have a look. Oh yeah. Looks like a whistle footing or something there too. Anyway, that's number number five for today. That's very good. Had uh, six yesterday, so I got another little few traps. You never knows me who opened another one. Anyway, I'll get this straight away here now. Move on. Knock a bit of that off. I always knocks off any snow that's around limbs like that because it gets blown hard or anything then only for a lump to fall in on the trap and uh, trigger your trap 
and we wouldn't want that, no would we? All right, this one makes uh, number six for the day. And I'm on my way back now, so hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.